Hey guys, Chad Trofkerbin here from the Incredible Tutorials YouTube channel. Jim Mills and I have teamed up with Smith Micro to bring you these brand new Anime Studio 10 tutorials. So I hope you're ready, because we're about to get started. There are many advantages to creating masks in Anime Studio. This works for both debut and pro versions. The difference is, in pro, you can use group layers and bone layers to create masks, while debut, you can only use bone layers. Everything else, though, is the same. In this example, I've started drawing out a character. And as you can see, I have some eyes here, and I decided to create some eyelids on a separate layer. You'll notice, though, that my eyelids are bigger, and they kind of extend outside of the eye, and it gives it a, well, not so good look. So what I can do here is create a bone or group layer to mask the eyes. So. If I come over here and go to New Layer and choose Group or Bone and then name this group Eyes and bring it up here. And now I can take the lids and the eyes and put them both in the Eyes Group Layer. Now double click on the Eyes Group Layer and choose Masking. Choose Hide All, and then click OK. You'll notice right away now that the mask goes into effect. You can see that the eyelids are now only going as far as the eyes. If I take the eyelids layer and I move these around, you can see that they don't breach the eyes. To better demonstrate this, I can recolor these lids so that they're darker. And you can see they still don't breach the eyes. So this now allows you to easily create objects that are bigger and then mask them in. So now I could animate these eyelids going up and down without any fear of the eyelids going outside of the eyes. There are all sorts of different masks that you can play around with. All you have to do is double click on either the group layer or the affected vector layer, go back into masking, and here you can choose mask this layer, don't mask this layer, and a bunch of others. Play around with these and see what they can do for you. Their descriptions are pretty self-explanatory, and these functions will give you a lot of flexibility when creating your objects in Anime Studio. And that wraps up this lesson. If you have any more questions regarding Anime Studio, please visit the official Anime Studio website at anime.smithmicro.com. Thanks for watching, guys. I have more Anime Studio 9 tutorials out there, so please check those out, and I'll see you next time.